now let us discuss the effect of dielectric slab on capacitance we know that a parallel plate capacitor has two plates one with positive charge and the other the negative charge now <coughs> the capacitance of a capacitor when air is the medium the value of c will be epsilon naught a by d here we know we know that that <clears throat> a is the area of the plates of the parallel plate capacitor d is the distance between the two plates and c is the capacitance epsilon naught is the permittivity of the vacuum now if we introduce a dielectric slab of thickness t so it is needless to mention that t is less than d now when we introduce the dielectric slab in between the parallel plate capacitor an opposite and equal charge is induced in the dielectric when there is no dielectric the field b e not <clears throat> now in within the dielectric the e not will be in this direction because of this polarization ep will be in this direction remember the direction of electric field is always from positive to negative so therefore within the dielectric field it is ep minus e not minus ep as e not is greater than ep so the electric field at the region t is e not minus ep let's name it the resultant is e now the electric field at the region d minus t is e not that means this region so within the dielectric slab it is e and outside the dielectric slab it is e not now the potential difference if you want to calculate then potential difference will be equal to e not times d minus t remember the electric field times distance are uh, between the two is only known as electric, uh, electric potential now this e times t now <coughs> according to the definition of the dielectric constant of dielectric slab k which is equal to it is the force acting between the two charges in the vacuum divided by the force acting between the same two charges in the medium or we can say in terms of e is e not by e therefore now i can replace e is equal to e not by k if you consider that this is the first equation now what happens by substituting v by substituting e is equal to e not by k we get e not into d minus t plus e not by k into t now in this 
I can take E naught as common then D minus T plus T by K. Now E naught if I take D as common 1 minus T by D plus T by K D. Now E naught into D 1 minus if I take T by D it will be 1 minus 1 by K. So this is <coughs> V. Now we know that Q is directly proportional to V or Q is equal to CV. This is the pivotal equation for capacitance. Now if I want to know the value of C, I must divide Q by V. Therefore, the new capacitance C dash is equal to Q by this V. So, E naught D into 1 minus T by D times 1 minus reciprocal of K. Now, we know that Q by V, this is the original potential between the two plates. Therefore, I can replace this by C naught, that is earlier capacitance when there was no dielectric slab. So now it's going to be 1 minus T by D into 1 minus 1 by K. So this is the final form of the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor when dielectric slab is introduced in it. Now we can discuss <coughs> special cases. Suppose if the, uh, the dielectric slab is fully occupying the space between the two plates that means T must be equal to D. When T is equal to D then C dash is equal to C naught by this become this is 1 T by D when T is equal to D this becomes 1 and then 1 minus 1 by K. Now this 1 and this 1 will be cancelled. Finally it becomes K times C naught. That means if the dielectric slab is fully occupied, occupying the space then the new capacitance will be increased by K times. So here we must know by introducing the dielectric slab the charge will not be changed charge remains same. Now what happens V decreases by 1 by K times we know that V is equal to E naught times of D therefore E also decreases by 1 by K. Now <clears throat> you can also extend this topic suppose if you keep in the dial uh, in the in the space between the two plates of a capacitor if you keep one metallic slab so this is positive charged plate and this is negative and here within this metal slab E is always equal to 0. The charges is polarized within the metallic slab in such a way that <coughs> it cancels out the total uh, electric field in it. Now what happens here the V the potential difference will be only E naught times of D minus T because within this T it will be E is equal to 0. Now this uh, C dash is equal to Q by E naught into D into 1 minus T by D. That means it is C naught by 1 minus T by D. So this is the new capacitance when the 
metal slab of thickness T is introduced. Now suppose if this thickness is equal to the total thickness, uh, the distance between the two plates, then what happens? C dash tends to infinity. That is, if you take any capacitor and even if it is joined with a wire, conducting wire, then its capacitance tends to infinity. So, this is the concept of effect of dielectric slab and effect of metal slab.